Hello my friends, welcome to the metal shop. Today we are working on the pedal assemblies, the actual pedals themselves. Last week uh, we got the throttle pedal installed and we got this, the uh, master cylinders for the brake and clutch just kind of mocked up in place. So now I am working on the pedal assemblies themselves. Now with this car, you're gonna, you get the vibe that I'm going for, the look that I'm going for is for the total vintage vibe. I want this thing to look like a 66 Cobra. So in saying that, I went with these cast AC pedals that they use on the original cars for the brake and the clutch. Now the casting is pretty good, but it's, it's pretty uniform and it's pretty shiny. It's not exactly what I like. Probably, this is probably exactly the way they made the originals, but what happened over time is your foot would wear it out. It would get dirt, dirty and discolored. So it appears almost that they're darker or painted in the depressions and it's a more smooth, uniform surface along the top. So what I've done here, I don't know if you can see the difference. You can kind of see the difference in colors. I've gone after this one with a scotch Bright pad just to kind of give it a more uniform appearance. I'm actually going to paint in there with, I'm going to use that uh, Rebuilder's cast finish that I did on the wheels just to give it kind of a different look there. I'm going to attach these to the Willwood assembly here. Um, originally these came with, and I've cut the tabs off, they came with tabs in the back with a hole through them because being floor mounted, it was important that the pedals had a little rock in them. They could travel back and forth. When you mount them from a, a top mount system, you don't really don't want them to rock. You want them to be fixed. Um, so what I've done in that case, now these are the pedals, and there's, these are very nice. This is what you'll get on a Factory 5. This is what comes with the Willwood, and that looks very nice, but again, not, not period correct, not what I want to do. Now, I could have modified the AC pedals to mount to these, but I want to keep these just kind of in a reserve. I may have to use these. Maybe I'll use them on a different project. I didn't really want to modify these. So what I did was I, I made these up in you know the machine shop. I just you know cut these out of... You know, nice, nice piece of, you know, whatever. I'm not sure exactly how big that is. 3 16 steel. I cut these. I countersunk them. And so these, and they're, they're flat. These have this, you know, that big rise there in the center. These are flat. I did have to bend a little bit of an arc in them. So what I will do, pretty simply, I'll mount these to the Willwood. These will mount on top like so. And just for the sake of looks, that will be the look that we get, which will be pretty nice. I'm also going to have to do something. I'm going to have to get rid of the Willwood here. And low tech here in the metal shop, I'll probably, you know, I'll just rattle can you know, <laughs> right over that. No big deal. So I also fabbed up a gas pedal. And what this started out life as was a piece of four inch pipe that I cut down the originals. And I'll try and insert some pictures of some original AC pedals, this is what they look like. They were a curve, they were they were crude, kind of crudely made, but this, and I'll show you after, I just this just needs to be drilled. This will bolt right to my the existing throttle pedal that I've already showed you, and it will give, you know, once this is going to be painted black, it will get a piece of you know grip tape on it. Um, and it will really look the part. You can see it's a little flat there. I had to do that a little bit flat in the center part there. Again, piece of, this is inch and a half inch, inch and a half wide. Just cut this down into a section of pipe and kind of made the bend that I needed. I had to modify it a little bit here and down here in the corner to fit. One of my neighbors is shooting like crazy. Welcome to New England. Um, I don't know if you can pick if you can hear that on the video or not. So I'll drill this up. I have to drill, I'm gonna drill the throttle pedal in place in the car. Um, and I'm going to get these painted and I will show you the results. Cool. Pedals. All right. So where we're at is actually a week later here. Um, just busy this time of year. Got a little sidetracked. So I have this pedal done and ready to be installed. And what I did was I did paint this with the builder's cast finish so that I wanted it to be darker gray in the inserts. Wasn't super happy with that, so I gave it just a super, super light scuff. 
uh, with a 3M Scotch Bright pad, and that really gave me a nice, you know, look um, that I liked. Uh, you know, it's kind of a little bit weathered, a little bit used, whatever. Put the grommets in this pedal. This one is labeled B for the brake. Putting the grommets in was a pain in the butt. This time around, I am going to use a lubricant. And you don't want to use oil or anything like that. It's hard to clean. You want to use like a glass cleaner. I'm going to use this spray cleaner. Polish, this is good stuff. Smells nice too. Um, I did get the pedals that I fabricated installed. And curiously, the paint on this one failed. And I'll tell you why. I dropped it not once, but twice, chipped the paint. So I read the paint, you know, the... Rust-Oleum High Performance, this thing gets heavy. <laughs> um, and it said, you know, you can recoat within two hours and then you gotta wait 48 hours. So I waited, I think 46 hours. No way those two hours made the difference. Recoated it and it wrinkled. It went to the wrinkle paint like that. So whatever, doesn't matter. You don't see the part. I'm not really going to obsess over it. So what I am going to do so I'm going to get these installed. I'll give you guys a nice fast forward, maybe a little bit of music montage sequence. So, the time lapse of me putting this together was an epic fail because, quite honestly, it just took too long. Um, getting the grommets in was a giant pain, and actually using the lubricant actually probably made it a little worse. I kind of waited for the lubricant to dry, and they went in a little easier. You can see the pedals came out. They came out pretty good. The finish on them is a tad different. <laughs> I had to strip the paint off of this one, and th it was this one was a little smoother than that one, so... Whatever, they will all 
work out in the mix when your feet is rubbing up against them your, and everything else they'll wear out nicely so I'm pretty happy with that unfortunately I can't give you the big money shot of the uh, pedals and all together I did the gas pedal the throttle pedal as well we can have a quick look at that and there's how she turned out pretty nice and really I just started out with a, a piece of uh, piece of metal pipe and I cut it down and kind of made it the circumference the, that I wanted kind of had the bend in it that I wanted sorry for the low light um, you know painted that up drilled it countersunk it drilled it up for the uh, I use stainless bolts and nylock nuts there if you can see them on the back side there and it still works nicely just as I intended the pedal the nice curved pedal which mimics the look of the original does not get in the way of basically the pedal assembly itself just like it was previously is what is hitting up against the firewall so I can't give you the money shot like I said of all three of them together unfortunately because the bracket that I fabbed is out being powder coated but I do promise that I will give you the shot of all of them together once I get them installed um, I said it was this was quite quite a tedious process um, you know I had to grind a couple of washers you know the rubber grommets get in the way if you look here try not to hurt my thing here on the back side that's nice the rubber the rubber grommets kind of out of the way here i had to grind some washers of the flat side on so that they would fit and it was just kind of a kind of a giant pain but anyway overall end result is money so i'll see what else i'm working on over here I have a new steering wheel, and this is just a, a, an exact replica of the Motolita steering wheel, including their weird bolt pattern, which is not symmetrical, if you can see. There's a big gap here at the top, and what I ended up buying was an I did it adapter for a Momo a bolt pattern, which was close, but I knew it wasn't going to be just right. Mustang to the rescue again. This is an old uh, cruise control adapter plate that I had for the Fox body. That's right here. And what I'm going to do to make this fit, this is made for the I did it column, the GM um, flange spline. I'm going to take and I'm going to drill the steering wheel here with the Momo bolt pattern and it will fall you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, it will fall right in there. It will bolt right up to this. And if you bear with me, my friends, the plate that is made for this will actually cover it all up. Just like so. Get you the idea right there. It will cover up all the holes, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna have to drill and countersink holes. I'm not a machinist, so I'm sure they're gonna be rough. But again, they're gonna be covered up. You're never gonna see it. And that way I can run an original style steering wheel. Because quite honestly, running one with the nine bolts along the outside with that huge hub and the little tiny little horn button and all plastic inside, that ain't gonna cut it. Not even close. I want this thing to look right. So as always my friends, I thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, give me a like. Give me some comments. I respond to all my comments. And I really sincerely hope that you are enjoying the Cobra series. It's slow. I know. It's slow. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, check this out. A friend of mine who uh, runs a uh, movie theater gave me a couple of uh, Ford versus Ferrari posters. This one's a little wrinkly. This is a nice, this is actually a limited edition lithograph. And the other one's not quite as nice as this, so pretty cool. All right, my friends, take care. Bye-bye.